Some of us eased into the new year, relaxing at home, maybe watching a little football. I took in a movie on New Year's Eve. Mm. Don't feel sorry for Living it. Living large, okay. Chris. <laughs> oh, boy. But Marisol decided to ring in the new year in a most invigorating way. Mm. You know, I considered it a form of hazing on your parts, even though you probably didn't know <laughs> what I was her. doing. It's an understatement. I went to Brooklyn, New York for a very fun, well, maybe not very fun, and very frigid tradition. But the good news, at least I wasn't alone. For more than a century, polar bears have invaded the shores of New York's Coney Island as part of a New Year's Day tradition. And this year, I'm joining them. I am going to jump into freezing cold water. The freezing cold Atlantic Ocean, to be exact. I checked the weather. So the good news is that the air temperature is actually 47 degrees, slightly above normal. The bad news, the water temperature is 33 degrees. Grab some gear. And move over, Michael Phelps. And headed out to Coney Island. The balmy temperatures brought 1,500 polar bears to the beach to kick off the new year in style. Despite the party-like atmosphere, I was nervous. So here's something I really don't want to see. Snow on top of sands. You want the air temperature to be colder than the water, and it's not. What should I expect? Go! Go! As I stared into that icy blue ocean, I realized apprehension was the enemy, and I knew oh God, it's cold. I just had to go for it. Oh my god, how was it? How was it? Go in, go in. Go in. My plunge into the 33 degree water felt like an eternity, but it lasted just five seconds. That's crazy! Oh, that hurt! Despite my short term discomfort, celebrating the start of 2011 with diehards like these is something I'll always remember. I well I'm impressed. Well done. You know, I'm we, we spoke to the president of the Polar Bear Club. In addition to the 1,500 swimmers, there yeah. were plenty of revelers, 12,000 people uh, on the beach. It was yeah, really actually... 12,000 people saying, what are they <laughs> doing? What is she <laughs> doing? And by the way, I want you all to know, uh, I am the least graceful human being no. on the planet. I, I don't no, know. The I, high you knees. Demonst no. You demonstrated, <laughs> yes. a, I mean, amazing athleticism there with the high knees over the waves. The prancing, it was like a gazelle. I, I mean, was like sprinting. a gazelle. I mean, would you, would you look at all that spandex smooth, out there? Smooth it's like, like the, cement. All the, nothing honey, else. You've smooth. got the gear, yeah. which makes it look You, you looked good. Right. Uh, so you guys haze me. I'm going to have something up my sleeve <laughs> you know, before this year I'm a little done. worried about you know, it. You guys are going to be subjected to something that is going to be against the gym. Geneva Convention. I think, that, <laughs> so you're all I think the funny part about it is we all got the email to do it. You're the only one that responded. <laughs> nice job. The producers appreciate that. <laughs> now, I look great, though. They say, though, <laughs> when you hit the water, and tell me if this is true, it's like being stabbed by 10,000 knots. Yes. The fir my first foot went in, and I was like, oh, that's not bad. By the time I took it out and plummeted my second foot in, it hurt. My Ooh. flesh was red. Ooh. You don't have to do it. That's How long did it take to recover? Sounds great. I'm still recovering. <laughs> my, my little bunions are still frostbit. And you made fun of me going to the movies. Well. <laughs>